hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel please guys if you are not subscribed to this channel please i'll urge you to consider subscribing hit that notification bell so that anytime i upload any video you'll be the first one to be notified and today we are going to review a 60x manual incubator what it comes with and how it's operate as you can see it's an echo 60 okay okay it's come with the manual the manual you can go through it and learn how it's operate okay it's come with the power cord the ac power cord for electricity ac it's come with the candle torch this is a candle torch the one you'll be testing your eggs with okay Okay, this is the top part of the incubator. It's the one having the heater, the fan, and the controller, as you can see. And the rating, the power rating, the 115 watts, and the readings you'll be seeing there. Okay. And this is the base, this is the base, this is the place where you will be putting your water, this is the base, and it's come with this plate, the mesh plate, for putting the eggs. Okay, the incubator have some holes down here, for adding water, and you will be using something like this, like this one here, this bottle here, to add water, to top up the water. Uh, the water is supposed to, you are supposed to top up water after two to three days Okay, for the first time there's no need of doing that with the bottle. You just come with the water and pour down here you Just come with the water and pour down here and put this mesh plate for hatching And then this is the top of the incubator which it has the sensor for detecting the temperature It has the turbo fan as you can see it has the coil for heating the incubator yeah so it has the lcd for displaying it has the breather here it has the two the two breathers so you close it then you power it on just like that so the LCD will display the temperature. Let me bring the camera so that you can see it. Okay, this is how it starts. It starts with a low temperature because the coil have just started heating. So it will start with this lower temperature and rises up up to the right temperature, which is 38.0. It will continue blinking until it attains the right temperature as the coil continue heating when it reaches 38.0 the blinking will stop and the temperature will not go beyond 38.0 let me show you how you are supposed to put your eggs here so guys the eggs to be incubated must be fertile and you are supposed to mark them on both sides 180 degrees just the way I have done here and this is how you press them the marks are supposed to be all uniform at any given point so the turning of the eggs is supposed to be done at least twice a day the marks on the eggs will assist you to identify the one you have not turned And the turning should go on for 18 days, the first 18 days. The last three days you are not supposed to do any turning because they are almost touching. 
that is for chicken so while hatching while hatching any eggs you are supposed to know the number of days the eggs usually take to hatch the last three days of any eggs incubation period no turning is required you are supposed to leave them alone because they are almost hatching in short you are not supposed to open the lid of this incubator for the last three days the temperature and the humidity must remain constant no interference if at all you need a good performance of the incubator okay guys if you like my video please give me that thumbs up and please do not forget to subscribe to this channel stay safe have a nice time